Hi everyone, welcome to the last lecture of Ansible series and in this lecture we will try to differentiate between Ansible, Chef, Solstack and Puppet, the four players of configuration management in the market. I'm aware of the top four players in the market. If you're aware of any other configuration management tool, feel free to place out a comment in comment section. Now I'm not going to do a detailed discussion on the mechanism of Puppet, Chef, Solstack. Instead, we will just see the differences between the four players in the market. From the architectural perspective, Puppet, Chef, Solstack are agent-based tool where you have to install agents on the managed node. Whereas in Ansible, we don't require agent on the managed node. It works on SSH or WinRM connection for Windows. In terms of the language, Puppet and Solstack are procedural where you have to specify how to do a task. Whereas Chef and Ansible are more of a declarative approach. Specify only what to do. And we have seen that in Ansible. From the scalability factor, all the four players are highly scalable. So I don't think there is a issue with the scalability factor with the four players of configuration management. In terms of managing the configuration management tool. Now I know Puppet, I know Chef. If I compare both the tool with Ansible, obviously Ansible comes top when it comes to the managing of controller engine or the managed node. Because within Chef, you have to write and manage everything in Ruby. We write recipes within Chef, right? Like what we do in as a playbook, we write recipes within Chef and that is written in Ruby. So you have to learn Ruby out of that. Within Puppet, you have to learn Puppet DSL, okay? Solstack, again, I just have a conceptual base knowledge. I don't have much practical base knowledge with Solstack, but Solstack work with YAML, which again, as compared to the other two, it's always easy to write something in YAML. You just have to follow the indentation, just this, just like an English kind of a language, key pair value, right? So that's what Solstack and Ansible is all about with the YAML side. Interoperability are very high in all the tools like working with Windows, Linux, Windows as your managed node within Ansible. Ansible as again, what I remember till date, we don't have, uh, we don't have uh, a mechanism to install Ansible controller engine on Windows and from there it manages rest of the managed node, right? So the controller engine has to be on Linux based system. Chef, uh, yes, I believe because I worked on Chef almost five years back. So where I installed the master on the windows and I faced a lot of issues over there with the compatibility and everything. But yeah, Chef is also a good tool to work with. Now enterprise cost up to 100 nodes. Again, these are just like uh, numbers. It's not an exact number because the number varies. Now within Puppet, up to 100 node varies from $11,000 to $19,000. Chef is basically $13,000, 13000 plus dollar. Salt stack $15,000 and Ansible for the 100 nodes are $10,000. We know like uh, these are open source tool. Uh, Ansible, we have done that, right? We haven't purchased any enterprise license, but we do have an enterprise license for all the four players of configuration management. One of the better management, what we have in Ansible, Ansible uses push mechanism where it pushes the configuration out and do the job. Whereas Puppet and Chef follows the pull mechanism. Solstack also follows the push mechanism. Again, this is as per the documentation, right? Because I don't have a practical base knowledge. That's why I'm just following the documentation. And I have seen it is written as a push based mechanism where it pushes out the configuration and just do rest of the job. So another difference is in terms of the cloud availability. Now we have Puppet and Chef available in cloud. Uh, I guess uh, I have worked with Chef within AWS. So we do have support for that. Puppet, yes, within AWS we have. And recently they have uh, a support in Azure as well. So we do have a cloud availability within uh, Puppet and Chef, like an integrated module. 
Solstack, no. Ansible, no. You have to install. We don't have any integrated module yet available on the cloud platform for any of the cloud vendor. Again, I have worked with four or five different cloud vendors and I haven't seen that yet. Okay, so that's how the difference look like between the top four players of configuration management. And if you want me to, let's say for my preference, Ansible comes first for me, then Solstack, then Chef, and then Puppet. Okay, because, uh, you know, like, working with ansible is very easy and we are doing a lot of uh, automation with ansible and ansible we treat ansible as an infrastructure as code tool as well what we have with terraform or cloud formation or heat right so that's why i prefer ansible on top of every other player within the market so i hope this clears a lot in terms of the differences this also helps you in your interview questions as well so please Please do a lot of practical. We have covered the entire concept of Ansible, all the important concepts, which will help you to clear the interviews as well as help you to work with your production or staging environment in a live world, right? So do a lot of practical. Don't miss out any of the video lecture that I have uh, given on the YouTube. And please out a comment in comment section if you're facing an issue. I'll be there to help you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.